Well, it's adventure time, oh, oh. But shut the radish, my name is Calm and welcome to that Russian gamer guy. Welcome back to Life is Strange. And welcome, here we go, episode 4. Previously, Previously in Life, Life is, is strange. strange. Whoa. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Oh, what is this music? It's licensed. Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Saving ya. Stop! Don't come near me. Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> She. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? It's hella crazy. Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Which it's crazy. Chloe is in a wheelchair. I don't know. We probably should go back to the past and change it again so we kind of like never change anything and so everything is back to normal but because i mean uh we cannot leave chloe in a wheelchair hanging out is with this victoria is cool but you know chloe is better because we already kissed the lady one kiss two kisses and then here we go <laughs> Anyway, Mr. Krabs, hello, what up? What you doing? Chilling on the high by the beach? All I wanna do, get high, get high, bye bye. Ooh. All right, life is strange. Episode four. So it's only two days more. How's this? Don't nod. I won't. <laughs> Joker. <laughs> okay, let's go. Give me some action now. It's very beautiful, I know. Dead whales. There we go. Uh, episode 4 Dark Room. Um, Dark Room. What's Dark Room though? I do know dark rooms in the clubs. If you know what I mean, I cannot explain because probably. Ah! Shoes. Oh, Chloe. I cannot explain because, you know, YouTube uh, account termination permanently. Nope. I'm not doing this shit anymore. It's. Weird, hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Don't lie. John Donne. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. 
Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. Oh my You're god. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Uh. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just... Happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Ah. Oh. You think it might be, don't say that. It might be, but... I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. But I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together... I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe... I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. <laughs> Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. I like this new Chloe so much, even though it's crazy to say that, but she's so nice. I don't know. It's crazy how different she is. But she's so nice. <clears throat> Anyways, I don't know why Max is staying here, why she can she cannot just jump back and never touch anything in the past because you know it's all actually happening because of that bathroom scene. If only she never saved Chloe. Oh, it's a pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive. When you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. 
You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Oh, it's me. It's gonna be me. All right. Wow, this is crazy. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. Dear Chloe, I'm so sorry for what happened. Know that I'm here for you if you need anything. I hope you feel better and I hope to see you again. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. Chloe, just thought uh, I'd drop you a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you. I feel so lame writing shit like I hope you are well, etc. I know your life is so different now and I don't want to get in the way of our friendship. Yes, I haven't been around lately, but that will change soon. I hope you are well. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. <laughs> I'm sure that made her feel great. Of course, bitch, because she cannot take a fucking road trip no more. Chloe is still a punk at heart. Yeah, <laughs> oh, right. She can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. All right. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high tech help. <gasps> There's the old Chloe. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm so sorry. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. <laughs> a podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. Ugh. You're right. You're right. I wish I could take us all the way back there again. Wish I could build us a DeLorean. Oh, well, um... With your scientific mind, you might do that. But time travel can screw things up, too. Plus, he'd have to be my living assistant to help me build a machine. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends? Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. <sighs> <sighs> they love you. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max. The accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. You are such a geek. <laughs> That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Oh my god, this is so tragic. It's crazy. Ah, <sighs> here's the DVD. Wow, I'm so fast, huh? Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. 
All right. Wait, I wanted to check all the other stuff. Oh my gosh. Ah, this is so sad. Like, oh my god. Maybe... Alright, but maybe we can go back. There's no way that it's gonna be like this. It's something about dark room and a party at the end of the world party. Maybe because she's in the Vortex Club now, she can attend it, but... Will she stay like this? Gas mask optional on the bathroom. This is so funny. <coughs> I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you? I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Uh. Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Uh. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again, it meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's... Uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. No, there's no way we should do something because this is just crazy. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. All right, I'm almost there. Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A scutless bastard. I am so glad Chloe stole your bullshit fund, even if it wasn't another reality. Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. Well, she loves it, but, you know, she cannot do much about it. Uh, so she said, go upstairs? Alright, let's go. These bills should all just say, dear sir, you Look, are Look, I still have it. Yep, that's the same graffiti from before. Happiness is a butterfly. Trying to catch it like every night. Victoria, Max, are we cool? Just wanted to make sure since you walked away so fast. Nothing was worried too. If you want to talk, hit me up, okay? Love you. Max, if you're mad, just tell me, okay? Silence. So if you want to talk, my door is open. I love you. Wow. That's crazy. Damn. This is just for Chloe's basic supply. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Uh... 
Paris trip. So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience, especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there, but that's not practical anymore. It's not fair, Max. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but I... I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. His bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? All right. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Wow, it's crazy. Flyers. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. They're drowning in debt just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. All right, let's go restroom. Can we get anything? Oh my gosh, it's Chloe's room. She wants to stay? Oh, she will. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Don't think so. At least so. we never had to hide from step douche. What's this letter? I never heard much about William's brother. Hey, Bill. Oh, sorry for not staying in touch since the accident. Work has been Pilling up and I'm being sent to Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot You have to go where the work in these days. I wish I could have sent you a big check a uh, Bigger check, but you know the story money is nobody's favorite thing. Maybe I'll see you next spring for a visit Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me hanging there Billy your brother Aaron Toys toys I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Another ladder. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. All right. Let's get out of here and go to the restroom. Let's take this morphine injector. And see what's going to happen. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Where is this thing here. though? Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. I just want to check. The bathroom check. looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Like much more medicine, right? How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. <laughs> yeah. Life is not playing games. Bills never end. All right, here we are. Let's do this. That must be her mighty morphine machine. Finally. No more bongs for her. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but... Get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> uh. You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? 
I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please. My diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Here we go. This situation is so crazy. Don't even know what to say, what to do, how to feel about it. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god, look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. <sighs> Just crazy. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Yes, please. Let's go back and fix the stuff. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing. And... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. This is so crazy. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. Oh my gosh. I mean, can we just go back with this picture or not? I... I, I do understand. Chloe, I'll just drift asleep. Dreaming of us here together. Forever. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. Can we just go back and fix this all? Oh my god, Max, come on. Come on. What's happening? Let my best focus on the- I'm sorry, right. William. Okay, here we go. We're going back. 
Oh my gosh. Ah! I cannot do this. What's happening? Come on. Bring it back. I don't know how it works. I don't fucking know how it works. Some why? Oh my gosh, I'm trying to do- oh, Fuck me, what the fuck is this picture? Okay, here you go. Here you go, here you go. Come on, come on. Use it, left mouse, right mouse button. Hold space. Someday dad will get one of them newfangled uh, computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. So the question is why she burned the photo. I mean, it's a cool photo, you just don't want to travel again Max you are being so fucking strange like you're never gonna see us again Chloe I'm so sorry I tried to make things different for you I I did try I'm sorry I don't know exactly what you're talking about but come on you have made things different like my whole life you're my best friend I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. All right, we're back. Back to normal. Jesus, that was insane. Here we go. And we never changed anything. So, back to original story, you know. <laughs> Oh, that's a cool picture. That's what we... We're not supposed to change. Alright. Back. Blackwell. Chloe is back. Let's see her. Oh, I really want to see her. Oh my god. That was insane. That that was such a great twist. Like, wow. So emotional. Insane. Here you go. Max is back. <gasps> Chloe. Chloe, you're alive. Yes. Whoa, whoa. Down, Max. You get one kiss, and now you're all over me? I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. 
Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. Where's the big board though? Oh, that's the board. That's dope. Let's check it out. Investigation. I like it. Like all the games I'm playing, or I used to play, have investigation. It all started. So close yet so far away. With Jenny Leclou. We have to do three main things. Right. Uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Darkroom. Too bad I don't have a gun anymore. Yes, that's the solution. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which uh, I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. <sighs> Don't remind me. I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. Unless you want to hang out with him after you stood up for his ass yesterday. Oh, please. Come on, David is cool. We won't find anything bad I in this room. Be oh, bitch. Oh, no. That poor little bird has been trapped in here. Let's save her. Where is she? Where is it? Uh, let me first open the window so she can... It can get out. But what for? Because uh, once they're outside, they're gonna be dead. Like, birds are dying. Climate is changing. Yo, babe. Get out. Uh huh. Fly. Be free. Here you go. Um, alright. Now let's go downstairs. Uh, so this butterfly, it means that this action is gonna have consequences yep. or something? Locked from the other side. Oh my gosh, again? Oh shoot, he's here. Warren, yo yo Max, your friend Chloe texted me that I'm out of the loop now. She sounds hot, so I get why. Chloe actually texted you. I sure didn't have her number. Now I get why you didn't want to go ape with me. You should go with Chloe. She looks cool enough for you. Have a lot uh, of cool friends like you. Yes, you do. Just my luck. And mine. I have to chat. Is he kind of jealous or what? Yo, looks David, like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Am I gonna be chilling with him? I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. David really did protect Chloe. I'm glad I stuck up for him. Sorry. Yes. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts too. Um, alright. But this is my official man cave, so no girls allowed well oh, i am that here makes me sad it was so incredible to see william again i wish chloe could what the hell did david do for nathan and what did his dad do for david mr madsen thank you for your help with nathan it's appreciated best sean prescott all right prescott but what did they do i wonder if david is going to the party of course he's going Undercover, checking stuff. So, locker. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? What you hiding? Shit, I need a. For once, I don't have time to search for the code. I need to find a key. Map. Let's stop. Excuse me, Max. Do not touch one goddamn thing. Come on, Max. Hey, Find Max. a way to get David out of his cave. I do appreciate you standing up for me. 
So we should mess around some stuff. Oh, here we go. I can't let David see me while I snag his keys. Enter the ninja. Son of a bitch! I just fixed that fuse box. Somebody fix the fuse! Here you go. Gotcha. Let's rewind. Dope. Keys. I I'm also the key master. I also could do the combination, but no. He cannot oh, hear me or what? Maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Wow, like, he's a freaking spy. That's me. X Files. Score. Back to Chloe now. All right, let's go. So we got the file thing, but check. Let's check. The most expensive restaurant in town. David knows how to get on Joyce's good side. Oh, let me see. How much is it? Most expensive. The most let me see. expensive Ooh, restaurant in town. All right, town. Um, David knows how to get on Joyce's good side. I didn't even know Arcadia Bay had restaurants like this. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. It's Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus there's some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. Yeah, I mean, actually, David is trying to investigate what really happened with all the girls. And he's probably just worried <coughs> about Kate. Uh, so he's not evil at all. I can this tell 100%. This is definitely 100%. Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. All right, Chloe. It's all right. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. K oh yes, <laughs> I'm on it. All right, knock, knock. The heaven's door. Yo, Kate! Beauty queen style, high fashion, hair, chic hair. Max! Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. Who oh, this? I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there, too. 
I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Hey. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad oh, to hear. I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. So happy that she's that okay. Still working on her book report. Yes, Kate. Yes, strong woman. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. Fuck off, Principal Wells. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. But not Nathan. Fuck Nathan. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. Kate, I know you hate men, you should, you should, but I only want to see your smile again. Please let me know if you need anything. Oh, she's so nice, after all. If this gets Kate through the night, so be it. You should stay real close to Jesus. Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wow, oh, props to her. All right. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I Bye. owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. Victoria. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be a, uh, not nice, but I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. I might be naive, but I feel her struggle. Me too. I could have taken a picture of her covered in paint, but I didn't, and we had a genuine moment. We all have our moments. Why do you think she acts so mean? She's insecure. She's insecure. If you're comfortable with yourself, you don't need to act superior. Victoria doesn't look like she has much to be insecure about. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No. I think it will take more than that, Max. Preach, Kate! I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. Or Chloe. No voice, no mama. Voice <laughs> you are funny, Max. And right. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. I wish I could have gotten his ass kicked out of Blackwell. Me too. But his dad would never let that happen. I thought I had a tough family. So what is going on with him now? Um, Vortex Club party. I assume party. he'll show up at the Vortex Club party tonight like nothing happened. And nobody can do anything to him after what he did. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number and I'll text it to you, okay? How? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Her name is not Alice, but she's looking for Wonderland, Wonderland. All right, let's go. Out of the hospital. Well, how is she? Good. She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Oh, 
I hate these two guys. Like this uh, photographer teacher is cool. He's like handsome but bitch. <laughs> he has something on his mind. He's messing with Victoria. Oh my gosh. All right, a nice day. Everybody's chilling. Okay, Chloe. Oh, hey, Max. hello, handsome. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend Chloe. Yeah. Chloe, why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird being suspended and just walking around campus. Well, you are an adult now. This isn't prison, is it? Oh, I don't know. Get orange jumpsuits. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but... It's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Wait, you you're too. not... I'll be Max's date. Ooh. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. What the heck, Chloe? Oh, for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Uh -huh. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. Oh, shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. All right. So, um, yeah. He said he's gonna announce. Let's uh, see if I can find out where Nathan is. The winner, and at the party, but the party is like Vortex Club party. How can I get there if I'm not Vortex Club? What the heck? Anyways, I don't know if I could uh, have submitted the photo of me, uh, for the contacts, cause yeah, uh, appears like I didn't do it, but it's alright. Um, so anyways, uh, we're gonna be finishing this episode in the tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't forget to drop a like, write a comment, subscribe to this channel, and see you at the end of the world party. Bah.